Well, welcome back to Let's Play with Honey in the Wolf Among Us. We are just in the... No one's been over all night, so... Mm -hmm. He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Auntie Grindle's place. Let's take a Let look. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. <laughs> Honky tonk! No accounting for taste. Did not see that coming. Where do you buy your clothes? I... That your mom? Uh-huh. I kind of wanted to hear her answer to that question. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. I think. Okay. This is interesting. I'm not so I sure. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. It was a pretty one? I mean, she does actually seem like a kiddo. And we've seen other fables with kids. Like the frog. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Mm. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Uh-huh. Not here. There's no one here but me. I still think she's hiding something. It could be for her mother. She could actually be hiding her mother. Do you if... like broccoli? Not yes. really. I hey. love it. Me too. You mean not really? Now don't go to the door. I want to talk to her, but I want to keep looking. Uh huh. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? See? She's definitely hiding something. I, I actually am gonna go with a guess that she's she's hiding her mom herself. Do you have any pets? Not technically. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's literally nothing else I can do? Ah, ah, ah. Wind chimes on the light. That's interesting. Oh. Fucking witches. <laughs> Whoa! They just moved again. That was interesting. Okay, I don't think there's any else, anything else we can actually interact with, dang it all. I do suspect this... I do suspect there's something How much more longer here. do you think it'll be? Hey, I wanted to talk to you, Rachel. I can have my mom call you later or something. Uh-huh. Finished yet? She won't let us talk to anything else. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go back out and then see if we can listen at the dang door. Who is this bird man, anyway? Just a guy. Alright, we can't talk to her or Snow or any other thing. So we're gonna go ahead, step out, and then try to listen at the door. I get the feeling she's gonna be like, It's all clear, Mom! I was a good little sneak. Or is that extra? Oh, that's a different door. That's not the door out. Delivered to Auntie Greenleaf. What's that? A package having to do with someone uh -huh. called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. So this is a closet. I thought we were leaving, leaving. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going well, to break we it. Did I don't tell her we were touch she will anything. freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Oh. I knew it, she was gonna change. Auntie Greenleaf. I knew it, she was gonna change. It hurts when you do it that fast. 
Sorry. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? Uh -huh. I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Maybe why? she really did have a little How about girl? because it works? That's why. Uh -huh. I'm good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while? All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal Whoa. and a... Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. Uh -huh. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why, in the name of everything holy, are you protecting this weasley scumbag? I mean, accessory. what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. So... But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Please. Uh -huh. Crane is a murderer, and he's escaping. Well, he's not a murderer. You might want to check your facts yeah, on that. Yeah, he's not a murderer. I knew it. I wish it, it didn't automatically matter. say that. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. <gasps> There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. So whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Yeah. Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. Sure. You have no idea what's going on, do you? I have an inkling, why okay. don't you fill me in? you know what in? I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. Uh-oh. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. No. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for you her life. We can at least make down. sure she never hurts us again. <gasps> oh no! We're oh, destroying no. the tree. No. no! No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Uh, two, two fables sides of the coin. are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You no. think I like being the old woman in these stories? Whoa. The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very oh. different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Snow, it's too much. We can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. She's a little... Bigby, oh, she's this is an order. Burn the tree. No! I'm not doing look, it. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. I want to say she could be He useful. went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? Yes. He thinks yes. it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. Uh -huh. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Uh -huh. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but. We still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Snow, do you really want to kill this tree for Fabled Town? Or do you want me to burn it because you're pissed off at yeah. Crane for what he did to they you? They stole my hair from my I apartment, know she's Big mad. B. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm pissed, but I still know what's best for this town. We're not burning the tree, Snow. I can't do it. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. Ooh. I won't. I didn't. I did not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. interesting perspective. Very interesting perspective. So maybe he was with one of the others, and that's why he's trying to prove his innocence. I said from, said from the beginning. I, I mean, Crane's a perv. But he did not. I don't it's think he Crane's killed him. Car. 
Wouldn't there be like a Bolo or an APB or no, something? No, it's nothing on you that need to car? concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, Sheriff, no. is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now. Uh huh. You were saying? <laughs> hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Uh -oh. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. <gasps> I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I. Crane, <sighs> get away from her. She's sealed. Her lips are I, I, I sealed. I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I ju just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. Uh -huh. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. I don't that's think all. you did Please. it either. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. Uh-huh. Well, no, this will work. I assure you, it, it must. Oh. Kind of pathetic. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please. Oh, Tell me who pathetic. killed her. <gasps> My lips are sealed. Of course they are. Oh. <laughs> Oh, how many years? But sad. What? How many years has this been going on? Too, too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I believe I just, you. I, it just. Oh God. What happened to you? Were you always like this? Good question. Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. Mm -hmm. But I didn't kill that woman. I know. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No. He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much. We've been chasing this guy. Just, why now? Because look at him. Yeah, this is, this is the safest thing I could say. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? Yes. We've both known him for so long. Yes. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. He does know I more. I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. I agree. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? Whoever your boss is talking to right now. This is this totally thing bigger, is bigger than, Crane. than Crane. Absolutely. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Jerk. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of yes. Fabletown funds. The proper thing you have to the be right to arrest. counsel, the right to depose witnesses. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Oh, don't Sometimes even. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return? Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Um, no way. I I'm not cocky enough to be all, we're better than you. Going to prison, that's it. 
Wow. Wow. Whatever the women know, they can't actually say because of that whole spell that's upon them, the enchantment. It was kind of pathetic looking at it with that ring. I dispel you! Okay. Oh! Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes. What are you saying? What? Yeah. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. This is like a drive by setup. They're gonna get rid of Crane before he can. <gasps> You're trying to get rid of Crane before we can get to him? Oh crap. Oh crap. Are we gonna get boxed in? Feeling we're about to get boxed in! Oh, we are so boxed in. Three cars! Oh crap! Oh crap! I knew the Tweedles would be around, but who else? Hi. What you got there? Hi. New chick. Uh-huh. The ones who the Look, one who hired It's recently come under our attention that you're How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Mm. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown oh, 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 oh. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. <laughs> You're interfering with official Fable Town business. Step aside. Oh, I don't think she's interested. Tweedledee, what's the, uh... You know, that thing the Mondays call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking uh, about. Oh, uh, what does it want to say? Bloody, bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Uh, because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> <laughs> And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. He's in custody, so move your car. We're gonna stay official I told here. you he'd never just give him up. Oh, she did not ask for your opinion, Mr. Tweedledee or Tweedledum, whichever one you are. Fuck it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Whoa! There was no, there was no other, like, move option. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, you're going to make me go big bad wolf on your face, aren't you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You just shot the wrong fable, you sorry sacks of crap, you. <laughs> Who were you calling doggy? Who were you calling doggy? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves a badass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a puff, boys. Shoot me! Time for you! 
Silver bullet? <gasps> it was. Oh god, pick me! It was a good show, but you know, I just didn't know when to end. <gasps> Is she gonna take crane? <gasps> You know, he didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. Whoa. But as it turns out, it's just a I'm hitting A! I'm hitting A! I am spamming right, A! Wolfie. Come on! Orange. I mean, hey, I'm look, alive. I know I'm alive. it sounds I'm alive. ridiculous, I'm alive. but really, guys. <laughs> Come on! Can you argue with these results? Because ah, yeah, I know yeah, yeah. I can't. She's gonna give her crane? <gasps> Just take him, okay? Take crane. <gasps> Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, <sighs> don't do this. Oh. <gasps> the crooked man? Crooked man. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Oh. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh. Oh, wow. Did, did we just sign Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I know. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. I know. With that axe, are you the one doing the killing? Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Whoa. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. <gasps> I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive. No and it won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not going to tell you again. Uh -oh. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. Hey, now. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you? Are you even going to be able to stop them? <gasps> Don't hold out on Doggy me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Uh -oh. Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? I almost wonder if the crooked man is even a man. Wow. 80% of the players did not interrupt Snow. 
Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. What place did you investigate first? 40% of the players did the trip trap. Oh, it's pretty... Okay, so 40% did trip trap, 40% did Ichabod. That would have been the second place. And 20% did the Tweedledum's office. Did you offer Flycatcher a job? Yes, most of us did. Did we burn Greenleaf's tree? 80% of us didn't. Did you kill Tweedledum? Only half of us showed mercy. Really? Wow. Wow. Just. Wow. I. I. Wow. This has been so freaking good. I don't know if I've actually said it in the recordings. I was talking to Sky about it. This is one of. This is actually the first let's play recording that I have ever done where I have wanted or wished or regretted not having a webcam. It's like we need to just wow. Wow, because because there, there have been so many moments where my jaw dropped, where I physically cringed back in my seat, where I did a double take or it's like, wh 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 what? Telltale Games is absolutely top notch at at really taking the knife and twisting it at, at, at storytelling, at pressure. They're, they're pushing on the pressure points at just the right at just the right pace, just the right um, timing to make it so you're stressed and you're and you're under pressure and you don't have enough time to sit there and debate well is this the right thing to say or is this the right thing to say and some of the choices are just ambiguous enough that you're not exactly sure <laughs> which direction they're gonna go with it you know and some you know sometimes you think it's gonna go one way and it goes another other times it's spot on and they're like echoing what what your intention and what your thought was so very good. I love the art style. I love uh, the sort of gritty film noir of it. I absolutely love the twist on the fables. I, I, I again, I'm really interested in actually reading the the comic book series of these. Really, really good. And now we've got this. You know, I, I kind of joked about we got a badass here. Yeah. Well, apparently the badass is bloody freaking Mary, not us. Oh man. Which is also fabulous in its own right, because, you know, there's not a lot of times where you have um, a female who is that strong uh, a presence and uh, and not just, in, and not just in, in a positive or a sweet way, but as a bad guy. Really loving that. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and look at the Book of Fables for a moment, more just to... Um, just to enjoy th that, that, that moment and kind of wind it down a little bit. Uh, you know, some of these may not even get open because we did did not, um, you know, look at a thing or do a thing. I hope they are. Dr. Swinehart, the army surgeon. Dr. Swinehart is a resident Fable Town physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. He served as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. He currently runs a special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people for investigating what is actually a reserved, fable-focused health facility. Uh-huh. Interesting. The Flycatcher, or Frog Prince. A former prince turned to a frog by a witch, the friendly, genial flycatcher now carries a nickname as an unsubtle reference to his propensity for catching and eating flies. I actually was curious. I almost guessed he was the frog prince, but I didn't want to, you know, say it and be totally completely wrong. Uh, his wife and their children were brutally murdered back in the homelands, a fact he attempts to deny himself by committing to a series of endless ta tasks and janitorial duties. The Trip Trap Bar. The oldest bar in New York City, the Trip Trap was established in 1725 in secret by Starkhead, Starkhead, the legendary Viking and reprobate, as a place for fables to meet and drink and commiserate. Known then as the Grammarian's Tavern, is that it? Yeah, Grammarian's Tavern. He eventually lost it in a bet to a tribe of mountain trolls who quickly renamed it and made it their own. 
Holly is the current proprietor, having inherited it from her mother when she died in a boating accident in the early 20th century. Interesting. Hey, Auntie Greenleaf. The White Deer. Horticulturalist, alchemist, and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside the 13th floor, unsupervised and unrestricted. Rumored to have lost a daughter. I knew it! I knew it! Rumored to have lost a daughter in the homeland, she suffers paranoia and depressive mood swings and will only venture outside at irregular hours under the guise of an ethereal white deer, an oft-whispered specter of, Bro of Brokehaven natives. What is it? Brokehaven? Brokehaven. Brokehaven natives. Okay. The Glamour Tube. It's a handy disguise. Glamour can be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use, is to take a small, hollowed-out tube or container and place within it several items unique to whoever the caster wants to copy, which is required for the reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour is the totally unique appearance are completely impossible, and the nature of the vessel makes it quite unstable. Of course, it's all cut from the, from that ancient wood. Ring of Dispel. All right, this is going to be... No, 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 we're going to do Bloody Mary. I see Bloody Mary next. we got to do Bloody Mary. That's going to be it. The Ring of Dispel, the Arthurian band. Reputed to be fashioned by a Byzantine clan in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches. The Ring of Dispel, or Dispelling Ring, or Magic Cancelling Ring, eventually was given to Lancelot by the Lady in the Lake. Recovered by I'm sorry, rediscovered. Recovered by the business office under the immigration to New Amsterdam, it was assigned to Greenleaf for caretaking. And of course, she told us that it was gone. Oh, this is the last one! Ha <laughs> ha And of course, she told us it had worn off long ago. Bloody Mary, the urban legend. The true history of the person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name, Mary at least, is not up for contention, nor is her pension for shocking violence, an inlaid resistance to magic and spells, and a strange ability to use any reflective service, surface as a portal, effectively shortcutting space and time. Thought by Mondays to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost, though any evidence of that is as yet unseen. Wow! That's fabulous! We have caught up with all of the unlocked of fables that we have so far. We've wrapped up chapter three. I believe there are five chapters to this one. So good. So, so very bloody good. Bloody Mary good. All right, that's gonna be it for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time and next chapter, bye.